love bucks is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome to my returning sub my own extended beautiful family just thank you for being you you know you're reaching out and you're learning more about yourself you know you're educating yourself on your gift and you know helping others along the way which is truly a big blessing and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and as always thank you for the love and support you give the channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um the meditation music i'm listening to today is called lower chakra healing meditation music raise self-confidence and energy group uh, sacral, 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 and uh, solar plexus. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Empaths when your gift is being pushed to the test. Yes, Lord. When you know your your uh, gift is being pushed to the test, it's just like when we are multi gifted. You know what I'm saying? We can get exposed to the most craziest stuff. <laughs> you know, and it's just like things that we know you have to probably get on record because if you was to go back and tell somebody, they wouldn't believe you. They probably would be like, man, that's just out there. And you know, and it's just like universe is testing us each and every day because it's like we signed up for this mess many, 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 many millenniums ago that we were just some, you know, I even tell my sis sometimes, I, I think we were some bad mothers, shut your mouths back in the day because just the, the fact that we have picked our lives, we have picked ourselves to be put in a certain battlefield to be able to figure out the puzzle. It's just like, it makes me think about a movie like, um, not like the Mur Murder on the Orient Express, like Clue. Basically, our life is like Clue. Like, you know, we're giving all these supplies. You know, and that's a good metaphor to show the movie Clue. I mean, the movie in, in the uh, game Clue. Because it's just like, you know, you have to figure out, you know, who's a murderer or, you know, what, what has been done and stuff like that. So it's just like, you know, when things, you know, things are putting us in enlightenment or we see things in a, a certain way, they can be like very jaw dropping. And it's just like, you know what your gifts are. And it's like you're learning more and more about yourself each and every day. And it's just, I know, I don't know about y'all, but there's sometimes I sit, sit there and like, Am I really doing this for real? <laughs> you know, I get real quiet, like. I can't believe I'm doing this mess. You know, it feels surreal. But it's just like, universe will test us all the time. And it's just like, you know, I I watch shows like Teresa Caputo of Long Island Medium. Or um, Tyler Henry. Um. Uh, what uh what he has the um hollywood medium and that other guy david i forgot his name but he was like from new york or something like that massachusetts or something uh and he had a show it was like he talked to the other side and stuff like that because it's just like with me when i think about you know things like that with when you talk in the spirit and you know it can be very intense and it's just like sometimes they have to let you know like, there's times that I've did story time and I had to tell certain things that has happened to other people that there's no possible way of me knowing. There's a lot of people that know and I have helped them in ways that, you know, it became uncomfortable for me because I'm seeing certain things that I have to recognize for them to not forget. You know, it has to be a painful reminder, but it actually has to be a learning reminder. And it's just sometimes you can take on the essence of things that people are going through. You have to be able to practice and know, oh, okay, you know, when I'm helping somebody, you know, it's just like me being able to lead somebody from the further. I call it from the further because it's like we can get to that dark place. And there's people I've helped. I have went over to that side and went to my higher self. And it was like you're seeing 
demons just going around people while you see them sitting up in a fetal position like scared like please help me please help me and they can help their own selves out but it's just like when you see you don't know what images they're seeing you know what you're seeing but they have you know and it, it, it just came up to uh like i'm seeing this dark room it looked like something off of a horror movie like something that james wan or you know clive barker or something that came up with like from back in hellraiser days i'm like man what the hell did you conjure up you know and they're sitting there and you just hear you know ominous voices talking about ring around the rosy and if you ever know what the actual you know when we went through kids you know we have lullabies and do you you not you don't know how disturbing they can be but it's like i know the backstory of ring around the roses you know it's just about that polio or tv or whatever stuff that went on back in the day and they you know they used to put posies in their pockets because they felt like this is going to keep them from not getting the epidemic that every, all these other people has had so they're waiting for them to die and it's just like that's basically like when i went in there coming to help people out that's what i see running around them and they're singing ring around the rosy waiting for the weakness to come so it's just like when we're we're put in positions for our faith to be tested and i just did a video about that um day before but uh when y'all see this video the day before but it's just like we are being tested all the time our gifts are being tested you know and it's sad when i see a lot of impasse that i try to help that just doesn't want my help to let them know you're you're going through an awakening they get to the point where things are getting unbearable and they see the help there but they don't want to help you know they don't want to acknowledge that and it's just like i'm just like well you know i tried to help you but you know you want to choose to go that way you know you've been placed in the path but it's just like things happen but it's when you you know your gift is being tested when whatever you're dealing with that you know that your your specialties are it'll be it gets to the point where it gets very heightened you know I, there are certain times that I can wake up in the morning and I can see auras all around lights I can see auras around uh cats when I go outside and just thinking like what is wrong with my eyes and it's just being really tested it's just like if you ever watched a horror movie and seen something like a vampire just like transitioning into a vampire or a werewolf transitioning to a werewolf it's just like we're being transitioned into something but we don't realize all the side effects that you got to deal with <laughs> when you're dealing with it because it's like with me with me being uh you know a medium empath you know uh clairvoyant stuff like all that all those things situations get heightened to the point where i have to shut people off you know, it's just days that I can't even make videos that it gets that intensified. I constantly have headaches and stuff like that. But it's just like now I'm starting to get clarity from all the things that I'm going through, knowing how I need to go about it. But it's just that point on pushing myself to do it. So, you know, when you got some stuff that you need to do, keep pushing yourself. No matter how hard it is, you, it's going to be worth it at the end. So, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video. You know, uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, truly favored. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shot out goes to S. Harris. I hope you're doing a... Uh, doing a good job and well i know you're doing a good job but i hope you're having a good weekend that's what i was trying to say and you know many blessings your way so while y'all at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites drop me a line i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites as well and i will see you on my next video peace you all.